To the white kids who compared my blackness to food items. In first grade, a boy walks up to me, all toothless and grins. He says, Nas, your hair looks like ramen noodles. He laughs and dried peas and chicken seasoning fall out of his mouth and I, all afros and coconut oil, ask my mother to straighten my hair the next day. In second grade, the same boy walks up to me, all prepubescent and insecure. He says, Nas, your hair looks like broccoli. And I, all high puffs and curls, turn green with envy for the girls with silky hair. In third grade, he walks up to me again, all unoriginal and uncalled for. He says, Nas, your hair looks like Cheetos, as he wipes his face with orange fingers. And I, all dreadlocks and baby hairs, cry on the way home. In middle school, a white girl calls me Oreo. And I say... Does calling me Oreo make my blackness taste sweeter on your tongue? Hi. Say I got vanilla in me, makes me more palatable, Whoa. makes the thought of me easier to swallow, makes my blackness less bitter on the way down, but here I am, all cookie, no icing. Hi. I am the hard black shell that collects your whiteness in between two halves of me. Wow. The other half wants to backhand you right now. I'm black Hi. and proud. Simply because I speak in colloquial tongue doesn't mean that I won't use it to speak up for my people because I know my history. I know that my ancestors were forced to come to this country. Kidnapped a night that was darker than their skin. I have the blood of survivors pumping through my veins like oil wells. I'm the daughter of Oya, Orisha of thunder and lightning, and I am unleashing my warrior. This is the rebirth of my identity, and this poem is to the white kids who compared my blackness to food items. Feast on this. When you grow hungry from eating your unseasoned culture, don't come asking for a piece of mine. I am not for your consumption. You cannot have any part of me. I won't allow it. I won't allow you to commodify this body. And I know that you wish to suck every part of my culture out of me until it isn't mine anymore. Until you can claim my blackness for yourself. Say that I'm not black enough and in the same breath say that I'm too black. They say I'm so black that it's threatening. But this ain't a threat, it's a promise. To myself. To never again cry over spilled ramen. Because like ramen, black women be there to feed you when you're starving. Mm. Call us salty, but you still crave us at three in the morning and you're hungry. Ramen be the staple of every American cabinet like black folk be the staple of every part of American society. So when you compare my blackness to food items, don't act like I'm not at the top of your grocery list. Mm. Woo! Woo! Woo!